the existential horror of playing dead cells. Oh man, I've been meaning to make this video for a while, but it's just... I don't... I still can't make up my mind whether I love or I hate this game, but what's a fact is that I fucking can't stop playing it, and then every time I play it I get sick of it because of the bullshit. So I guess that's just tragic, isn't it? <laughs> First of all, it is a beautiful game in every way. I mean, the, the art style is debatable. I don't know how they how they use those those weird low poly pre rendered graphics for literally everything, and still it turned out to be quite nice. I guess that's just the magic of pixel art somehow. But you can totally tell that it's just really bizarrely abstract and low poly. Well, it doesn't matter. Even even if things don't look good, I guess pixel art really helps. And the flow of the game is great too, you can run around, run on walls, and jump, and oh my god, it's pretty cool. Even though I wish there was some kind of running attack or something. More more options than just doing the same attack every time. I mean, there's a combo, but there's nothing outside of that combo. I guess you should really add a running attack. And maybe a rolling attack as well. Oh man. Not to mention a dodged, uh, a crouched attack. That's so weird that you don't have all these features that are kind of really important. But then again, who cares? I'm gonna get into all of my nitpicks in my next video. It's gonna be called Bug Report for Dead Cells. But now let's talk about the big picture and all the, the terrible design decisions that plagued this beautiful little game. Oh man. Like how, for example, the game is pretty good, but then like, a lot of the important shit is locked behind a grind wall. I don't know why you would do that. No one's gonna beat the final boss without a health potion. Why would you fucking make it so you need to spend something on, on unlocking a health potion? That's just so stupid. And now is not even the time where I should be talking about how the health potion is utter bullshit anyways. Because you need to hold the button to use it. And if you tap it instead of holding it, then you stun yourself. Isn't that brilliant? Isn't that the best fucking choice ever? To have a button that is healing yourself, but also stunning yourself. Oh my god. Stunning yourself, and then it flashes on screen. Hold the button to heal. What a stoop- no, I, this is a nitpick. I can't talk about the nitpick. The big picture is that you shouldn't lock the health potion behind a, a grind wall, and what you definitely shouldn't lock behind a grind wall is the wall jump, because the wall jump makes the game three times more fun to play. It's just so annoying to have to hang on to those ledges the entire time because you don't have the wall jump unlocked, and you're just making a bad first impression by not having the wall the wall run enabled. It's just tragic, really. I, just the whole thing with the Metroidvania in, in a roguelike game is actually kind of interesting, but it's, it's not going to work if you keep your best feature for, for last. Why, why would you save that wall jump for so late? That's just crazy. Uh, what a tragedy. You just use it if, as if it was another lock, another door that you can open once you unlock the power, but no! The wall jump is useful throughout the game and you should have it the entire time. It's just crazy to lock it. And there's just so many weird things like that that just plague this game. And it's too bad because this game is actually really fun whenever you're not dying from crazy bullshit. <laughs> That's the main thing, isn't it? Because this game is all about grinding and it has permadeath. So if you if you don't reach the, the boss, then you can't grind. So you need to play kind of good, but not too good. And then you need to beat the boss and you can de deposit your cells. But if you beat the final boss, you can't deposit your cells. I mean, you, you can... He just deposited some on the way, but not after the final boss. He, he even drops cells and you just can't use them. Just a spit in the face of the player. I don't even know. There's not even anything. There's a cutscene the first time you beat him, but the second time you can just... There's just a, a toilet that you can flush yourself down, and that's basically it. And that's not even... It's not even the last time you have to beat him, because... You still have to beat him to get those those things that he unlocks, and 
yeah, you just you get a toilet as your reward that you can flush yourself down and it leads you back to the level one of the game but you lose all your upgrades so basically it's just a way to kill yourself that's like really degrading they may have changed that but i haven't even beaten the game in a while <laughs> oh man and that's exactly what i'm talking about with the excess existential dread because this game is taking up a lot of my time and I kind of enjoyed it but on the other hand it's just this nagging feeling that I'm just utterly wasting my time especially when you die and you just have to start all over but then some of the stuff I mean there's still upgrades that you need to unlock by grinding so the, the grinding the, you still have to play the game like a hundred times to get all the good shit and that's a hundred times without dying so, that's tragic. So much time goes into it, and I don't even know. I mean, I guess if I was just really good, I could just play the game to the end and then beat him without any great upgrades, but I'm not good, so... I don't know, actually. I, I guess I beat the game the first time around after... Well, it t still took me forever, but basically... <sighs> Uh, basically, the problem now is just that the difficulties get more and more difficult each time you beat the final boss. Well, there's a, there's up to four levels of difficulty and you get them each time by, by beating the boss at the highest level you got unlocked. So, basically, as a, as a reward for playing the game, you get a, hot, a way harder version of the game to play and, like, exponentially harder. That's, that's how fucking hard. It's just really weird. Really weird game. Ah, uh, well, it is, yeah. Because there's no new content. There's, I mean, all the content you unlock in like the first, I don't know, a hundred hours of playing. But then it just, you, you're not gonna unlock, you're not gonna beat the game in that time. And there's a door in the first room that they, I won't even open until you beat the game. I suppose. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Oh man. Anyways, the main problem with the game is that it gets easier the more you play it. I, I made a new a new save slot because uh, because I had to because I unlocked some weapons that I didn't want to have unlocked. So I made a new save slot and it turns out that it's n not really any more difficult than playing at the highest difficulty after just having grinded up the way back to that difficulty not being particularly hard anymore. I mean, it's still too hard, but it's... I don't know, I guess the final boss is just insane, but the rest of the game isn't particularly hard. So that's just crazy. So basically, you can unlock higher difficulties by winning, but you can unlock higher ease by playing. So you get higher drop rates of better weapons, and better weapons just means you kill the enemies faster, which means you'll get hit less. Also, by the way, I guess there's weapons that have we uh, damage reduction. That's pretty handy as well. So basically, at the I, I guess the, the game always stays at the same level, but you unlock difficulty progressively. And then, I guess you also unlock Things that make the game easier. So what the fuck was the whole point of that entire system other than just making you grind out for hours? God, that just pisses me off. <laughs> and everyone says this game is so amazing and you should play it. And I guess you can and you can flush your life into that toilet that awaits after you beat the final boss. But what can you do? What's the point? I mean, yeah, I still want to play it because it's so damn cool, but I just feel cheated and hollow at the same time. And this is why this game is such a great analogy for just life itself, because it, you just live and you unlock new shit, but really the same shit still happens all the time and nothing ever changes. And there's different stats that you can pick, but they don't really make any sense because if you pick any stat, uh, stat other than survival then you're gonna be so squishy that it's basically pointless to play and you might say that oh you, it's good if you unlock the other skills no I mean no you're gonna say it's good because the, the, the tactic stats allows you to use all the weapons in the game because like 60% of all weapons use the tactics stat, but the thing is that you choose which weapons you unlock So you just unlock the green weapons and then you can use the survival stat and You're basically perfect and the best weapon in the game is green anyways Which is the nerves of steel bow the one bow that deals insane amount of damage 
And yeah, that's pretty good, but I don't know, maybe my playstyle is actually pretty bad, because it doesn't really work too well against the final boss. I can barely win against that at... Well, I've beaten it at, at level 3 difficulty, but at 4, I, I don't know, it's so crazy. They, level 4 is fucking insane anyways. You, they, they made this whole new health bar that you can't deplete, uh, that you can't heal easily. So basically there's a regular health bar and then there's a second health bar and if either one of them runs out you're gonna die so that's just crazy and then your health potion heals both of them but the the food that you find in the level doesn't heal doesn't heal you as well as it used to it doesn't heal the second bar so god I can't believe they made such a stupid system and it doesn't even show up until the very final difficulty and it's just crazy because when a worm bites you it's still gonna give you one chunk of of disease it's called malaise but yeah you, you get cancer basically the, the final difficulty is cancer you you get cancer by every time you lose damage except for like one or two really special cases like if a if an elite summons well, little zombies, they, they don't they don't infect you for some reason, because I guess the game even knows those are too cheap for anyone. But yeah, basically you get cancer from playing the game, but you can't heal cancer as well, because at the highest difficulty you don't get refills for your health potion. So the health potion that could heal your cancer doesn't work, and so basically everything is extremely punishing. But then if you... If you don't get the survival stat, you're still gonna die in one hit, and it doesn't even matter that you had the the other thing going at all, the other health bar. And it's really quite tragic. I'm gonna make a longer video about all the gripes I have with this game, but this is just the the really important stuff that really pisses me off. Oh man. Well, I guess I should clarify that there's one safe and grace to the health bar, the, w the first health bar, not the cancer health, but that one's a piece of shit that can't be redeemed. But basically, you can't die even if the damage, uh, if the enemies deal more than your health bar and damage. You just get stuck at one HP. But then you, you don't really get a way to refill your health bar. So basically, once that happens, the next hit's gonna kill you. Unless you use that weird bloodborne mechanic where you hit the enemies to get your health back. But then that's going to just increase your risk of getting hit right again. And then dead. So I guess that's some dead cells for you right there. <laughs> Alright, so unlocking weapons. One of the biggest cancers in the game is that you can unlock each weapon. Which actually sounds just like an amazing concept. You basically get to spend the blue, the blue coins to unlock progress towards unlocking weapons but then the problem is that once you've unlocked them they you you stuck with them and you don't know if they're any good until you unlock them unless you're like extremely lucky and you get a gold drop of it and a weapon that you haven't unlocked yet which i guess happens a lot at the start but still you the game incentivizes you to unlock all of them because I mean, you need to unlock shit in order to unlock the health bar so you're gonna unlock some stuff you don't want even if you I guess on my second place where I didn't, I, on my second save game, I didn't unlock too much unwanted shit, but it just, it's just too much really cheap shit to unlock that's just really gonna weigh you down. Like that fucking sandal, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's people that like it, but I think it's just the worst piece of shit ever. It's like, it's a melee weapon, but it can only attack like once every three seconds. It has a huge cooldown, so what's the fucking point? You're not gonna kill anything with it, then what's the point of it? I mean, you can kill something if you push it off the edge, but... Come on! You know what else could do that job? Literally any weapon in the game! Don't... Fuck, fuck the saddles, fuck... A lot of the, the novelty items they have. You better watch out unlocking those. You're gonna see them the rest of the game as soon as you unlock them. <laughs> oh man. I wonder if they're gonna add a, an option to to relock things. Probably not, actually. So it's it's probably good I made that second save game. It was a huge waste of time otherwise, though, and I haven't even gotten to unlock all of the difficulty on that one yet. <laughs> so, anyways, let's talk about the stat system. Basically, there's three stats: survival, brutality, and tactics. There's weapons that scale with with only one stat, and there's weapons that scale with two stats, but it only counts the one stat that you have the most of and there's weapons that scale with the single stat that you have the most of uh, those are called colorless weapons and they are 
Like, well, they're gold weapons, so they're basically the rarest version of a random weapon. So they, they could be any weapon. So basically, just judging by that, you have three stats, then have different varieties of usefulness to you, and then weapons randomly scale with them. But the thing is that the, the, the weapons are mixed enough so any stat will give you a good weapon to use eventually. But what, what the stats aren't going to give you is health, because the only stat that gives you health is survival. I mean, you still need to get like level 3 in, e in each stat to make sure you actually have health, but other than that, you need only survival, I guess, if you want to get the most health pool. So basically... God, there's just so much shit to explain, I guess, even when talking about it. I guess this the next video is going to be pretty long. <laughs> So basically there's, there's a scroll that gives you a choice between all three stats and there's scrolls that give you a choice between two random stats. And that's why you're gonna get to upgrade other stats other than your main stat too. So you're gonna use the, the powerful scrolls that give you the choice and use them on the main stat. And whenever you don't get to upgrade the main stat you get to upgrade the side stats. But the thing is that the stats don't matter in this game. I mean, they do, but only the, the big stat, the, the highest stat matters. Oh man, and let me just say I really love the system of having three stats. It's just so elegant and beautiful. Because normally in roguelike games you wouldn't have any stats, and that's boring. And normally in RPG games you have stats, but it's too many and it's boring. Three stats is flawless. It's the perfect concept. And you've squandered it, because you made it so that you, everyone has their favorite stats and that's their favorite stat and that's all they do. And whatever they do with the other stats doesn't matter, because they only matter to up to level 3, I guess, of, of each stat. So you're gonna have 3, 3 and then 20. Or, I guess, 20 and then 3, 3, whatever. Basically, you're gonna... Un unlock your, your main stat and your, your second stat doesn't matter. There's no point in having a second stat other than having it to level 3 so you actually have health. And that's too bad. And then I guess you don't get to pick to re-socket re your stats or anything so you're gonna be stuck with these stats for the entire game which means that you, you basically would have to know what weapons you're gonna get in the late game but that's obviously not gonna happen. So you're always gonna pick your, your the stats that you're gonna find and whenever you get a rare item that, that has that also runs off the stat that you already have the highest so there's never any reason to to do any different gameplay with these three stats even though these three stats should be amazing it should be that one stat does one thing and then I mean it should be that I mean you try to do it that the the range weapons all go off tactics and the melee weapons go of brutality and then the shields go of survival except for the fact that the shields are basically useless and there's there's green weapons for everything it's not many but you only unlock those so you can play with them so i just didn't unlock all the the purple and red weapons <laughs> man this must sound like such mad ramblings anyways i guess i'll I'll go more deep into it next time, and, well, there you go, you, I don't even know what this tells you, now you know that that Dead Cells is great, but also sucks, and I guess everyone else says that Dead Cells is great, because they haven't yet sunk fucking a thousand hours of their life into it, so I guess what do they know? <laughs> or maybe it's just me, maybe if I was just better then I wouldn't get defeated by this this piece of shit final boss over and over again and then whenever I do win it just gives me a fucking toilet. No, it would still do that, but I guess I'd win more often and, and then I'd just be done once I've seen the toilet enough times, once I've seen the, the ultimate toilet at the highest difficulty. Who knows what that even unlocks. Jeez, who knows if anyone has ever beaten that. No, they surely have. Oh man, what what bizarre gameplay. Well, guess we're non-divisor. <laughs>